Okay, so today we are unboxing one switch from Juniper. This one is the EX4100-F-12P. And this is a switch that we got for the lab. So we wanted to kind of show you guys the, uh, the experience of opening a box of a Juniper switch. This one is also cloud ready, which means we can, you know, scan a QR code on the switch and uh, onboard it into our MIST organization right away. So pretty excited to test that out. So this is the box, the switch comes in the box. We just untaped it so we can take a look at it inside. And if we open the box, we can see that we are gridded with, just like for the AP, we have a little card, you know, that's giving us information on how we can get started. Uh, Juniper.net slash quick start. And then we also have another card here talking about um, the Pathfinder. This is more information from Juniper if we need to. And then we have the switch itself. This one's a 12 port, so it's not a huge switch. Um, and as you can see, it's been security. Uh, I'm just gonna put this, the box aside for now. Okay, so if we take the switch, you can see it's uh, secured in this uh, plastic wrapping here so I'm just gonna untape it like this and then we can get the switch out of this awesome so this is what the switch looks like this one is fanless so we have this pretty cool heat sink design. Uh, it looks like a concept car, but for switches, it's pretty nice. Uh, and you can see at the front, you have the 12 ports. Uh, we also have some SFP modules. You have the famous claim code that we would be able to use to claim it to our organization. And at the back, we have, uh, the, this is the power input. Uh, these are two uh, additional uplinks. And uh, this switch is actually, it has a nice feature where you can actually power the switch using these two ports here. So you can actually use the uplink to also power the switch if you were to connect them to uh, another Juniper switch, for instance. And then you have the console management port and as well as a USB input. So that's what the switch looks like. It's pretty nice. Um, it's not that heavy, but it, it definitely has some weight because of the heatsink. And this is what you get with the 4100-12P. Uh, so this one is PoE, so we'll be able to actually use it to power uh, the Juniper access point that we have, so which is pretty nice. So now if I go back to the box, what else do we have? So I also have, we also have the uh, power cord. So as you can see, this one is the end. They probably adjust it based on which country you're ordering the, uh, the switch for. And then I'm guessing we will, we will get the block. Yeah, as you can see, we have um, the power block here. Um, and that's pretty much it. You'll get this. You have a special connector to connect it at the back of the switch here. And then you connect this one to your power outlet. So that's pretty much it. Opening the 4112. Uh, uh, F12P and uh, so we're going to take this and onboard it into our MIST organization. Thank you.